What we need to do, we will have to go to this Wi-Fi section of our PC laptop and then this is the TP-Link 0C 9C. This is what we need to connect. Don't connect automatically, just connect. Yeah, we need to give the password and then we will try connect to this network. So as you can see that we have already connected uh, to our uh, new router and it's saying that there is no internet that's fine that we I already know because I haven't connected anything I just wanted to connect to the router right now so I will be entering 192.168.0.1 let's see yeah now this page comes and we need to create a password yeah no thanks don't want to save anything at the moment uh, we have already entered into the Wi-Fi wireless router now now we can set it up like we don't have anything right now it's in the router mode only but everything is unplugged right now so before plugging in anything I need to just go in and do a setup for my router as a wire wireless router because I'm going to use it as a wireless router so now I have a static IP so according to that I need to just configure the things so for this one we need to connect uh, our uh, internet cable to the WAN port otherwise it won't let us uh, continue forward so that's what we need to do right now I will take this cable off from my existing connection now it's good work as I have already connected the internet yeah so here we are again and now if I try to click on the next it should work so let me fill it up one eternity later so now after fully setting up our new Wi-Fi router uh, we this is what we get here and we can see that we can we are able to uh, use the internet so now we will be doing a speed test of this Wi-Fi router. So now let's start the speed test with this router. So here we go. And it started. So this is the 100 Mbps IPS connection already I have told. So now it's picking up speed and it's giving nearly about 94 Mbps connection out of 100. So that's pretty good with the laptop and the upload speed is also around 70 mbps or 75 mbps so that's nice so this is the result what we are getting from this 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi router so now guys in this session i will be testing the speed of this wi-fi so as you can see in my mobile screen i will be about to test the speed so let's do it while standing right beside the Wi-Fi so as we can see like uh, it's already taking up 36 Mbps out of 100 Mbps because this mobile is connected uh, with 72 Mbps speed with this router so that is why it's taking uh, like it's giving us the 37 Mbps result uh, our download and upload so we'll be testing it 
in various distances now i will be going uh, from this room to the roof so now let's test one more time the speed from the roof so it's just beside uh, the room only where i kept the uh, wi-fi so now it's still 32 mbps and uh, it's again coming around for 30 only 30 it's not reaching 40 anymore the upload speed so whatever we are getting from the roof by moving around is uh, this speed uh, moving down i am in the first floor right. right now so from this room if i try to check so let's see how this is it's still taking the same only from here also we are getting 42 mbps speed so the speed got little bit increased from this room uh, of my first floor now i'll be going to the ground floor and let's check how much speed we are really getting from this router so all, remember this is a 72 mbps connection from this mobile my connection is 100 mbps but from the laptop as we have already seen we are getting like around 95 mbps so here we can see that already one bar is down for the wi-fi signal and uh, we are trying to check the speed from here so after getting now the connection is uh, uh, coming around uh, one or two uh, bars is going away and coming back so so we are able to see like 17 to 32 17 for download and 32 for the upload speed we are getting out of this uh, wi-fi router with this particular piece of mobile so i am walking towards my main gate of my house and let's see so still here we can see the wi-fi signal is still uh, we are getting uh, like one bar from the uh, from the wi-fi signal so let's see uh, and there is no wi-fi so it we lost the signal till this point okay so i will just slowly walk back and let's see how much uh, if the signal comes back or not so yeah so this is the boundary which i cannot cross so this is from here i will get let's see how much we will get the speed so from here with almost uh, unstable connection uh, it's going and coming uh, wi-fi signal we are we are able to see like it's uh, it's not stable at all and it's leaving and connecting at the same time so it's like 6.75 and the upload is around 0.6 and we lost the signal again so this is what we are getting uh, from the ground floor while keeping the router on the uh, third floor yeah again we are back to wishnet so let's check one more time if we can get the minimum signal uh, or minimum speed from the, this far of this wi-fi router so this is almost like uh, we are getting 9 to 10 and because this is almost the same how we got from that side of my house so this is the minimum or maximum speed we will be getting uh, from out of this router with this particular device and uh, this is what i wanted to show so if you are living in a a three-storied building or your house is one or two-storied uh, high so then you can easily able to use this wi-fi by keeping it in a center i couldn't keep my wi-fi router as of now uh, at the center of the house so that's why um, it's not even uh, all around the house so somewhere we are getting the full signal somewhere we are not getting the full signal so if I keep my router on my second floor then it will catch uh, till my uh, main gate and all over the house area. Like, want to see more videos like this do consider subscribe my channel. So see you guys in our next video. This is what I wanted to show for this TP-Link router. Okay bye bye see you.